In the last video, we looked at animating our slides using overlay specifications. In this video, we're going to look at editing the way our presentation looks using themes. We'll also look at printing handouts. In the first video, we set up our presentation with the Bodilla theme. There are lots of different predefined presentation themes available for us to use. Here are a few of them. This is the Bergen theme. This is the Madrid theme. There are also themes that include navigation bars, for example, the Antibes theme. We could also use a theme that includes a table of contents sidebar, like the Hanover theme. The Singapore theme is one that includes what Beamer calls a mini frame navigation. Finally, there are also themes like Warsaw that have the section and subsection titles at the top of each frame. These presentation themes control everything about how the presentation looks. However, Beamer gives us more flexibility by allowing us to change the colour theme, font theme, inner theme and outer theme all separately. This is really handy as it means that if we like a theme like Warsaw but, for example, want to change the colour theme, then we can load the Warsaw theme and then override the colour theme with one of Beamer's predefined colour themes. We change the colour theme using the use colour theme command followed by the colour theme. Note that these themes are different to the presentation themes we used earlier. For example, the crane colour theme. The inner theme dictates the style of the title and part pages, the itemised enumerate description, block, theorem and proof environments, as well as figures, tables, footnotes and bibliography entries. For example, we could load up the rectangles theme like this. This has made our table of contents and lists use rectangles as bullet points. The outer theme dictates the style of the head and foot line, the logo, the sidebars and the frame title. As we're using the Warsaw presentation theme, by default we are using the shadow outer theme, but we could change this to the tree theme if we wanted to change the top navigation bar to a tree-like structure. Finally, I could also change the font theme using the use font theme command and a predefined font theme like the serif theme. All of the information about the different themes available can be found in the documentation. Now let's briefly look at creating handouts for our presentation. To do this, we add the keyword handout into square brackets in the document class command. We then use the PGF pages package to help us print multiple slides on a page. After loading the package, we use the PGF pages use layouts command. In the curly brackets, we enter how many frames we want on a sheet like this. And in the square brackets, we specify the paper size and how much border shrink we want. If we wanted to put four frames on a sheet, we could simply change the two to a four 
and then add the landscape keyword into the square brackets. This concludes our discussion on themes and handouts, and also our series on creating presentations with Beamer. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking the on-screen link, and keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.